Painting from the heart is a simple thing for me to say. It is very difficult to do. Lifting the paint charge brush to the raw canvas is where my challenge begins. And it is where things can go terribly wrong. In the privacy of the studio, my ego is safe. Failure can be washed away with successive passes of brush with no witnesses. But in the outdoor mural setting, where the audience is alive and present to every painterly attempt the artist makes, the risk of being seen in failure is greatest. Failure is fear, and fear in a painting is death. When I began painting as the Chicano muralista de Minnesota, I self-imaged much like the matador depicted by Picasso, as much victim as killer of the tragic goal. Risking failure with the brush in plain sight of the audience requires a ruthless courage. My mural experiences have led me to impose a commitment to paint as if every swing of the brush was in the public eye. What I have done with the paintings in this exhibition is to imagine that I painted them in front of the attentive and informed community. My paintings are not intended to be a personal and private experience, but instead meant for the, for the heart of the community to share in their daily life. Painting to create a communion with the viewer leads me to focus more intently on the truth of the action of the brush. Among critically astute fellow painters who have come to know my work is the opinion that you can tell a Longoria in an instant and with only a fraction of the whole painting. I celebrate that recognition of my commitment and intent to ruthlessly, ruthlessly explore my cultural identity. When I first made the decision to become a Chicano artist, I immersed myself in the study of the whole history of art across all known cultures. At first, the survey of its many forms and dialects overwhelmed me. But using the idea that Chicano art would be a small and confined base for the work of aesthetic investigation gave me comfort. With dedication and focus, I could make a contribution to the evolution of Chicano culture. The result has been more challenging than I had imagined. I have purposely not included my work in the general investigative venues of other Minnesota artists so that I could stay true to the idea that Chicano art needed to be created in a distinct and recognizable manner. Please enjoy the show.